watch. Yesi's always excited to go to Badong Market with mom. There's always something new to discover. There are also many delicious cakes. Mom, I'll be at the cake stall, okay? The colors and scents of the cakes made Yesi's mouth water. She saw a trumpet-like cake, sweet green laclac, and clepons sprinkled with grated coconut. Oh, how delicious! Which one should she choose? Yesi walked to her left and to her right, staring at the cakes. Suddenly, crash! She bumped into a dadong carrying a basket. Uh oh, the elderly woman staggered. Her bamboo basket toppled over, and her groceries scattered all over the ground. Yesi realized that the dadong was a lifter. There were a lot of lifters in the market. They helped people carry their groceries. I'm sorry, dadong, cried Yesi. Yesi recognized this dadong. Dadong Sari sometimes helped mother carry her groceries. I'm so sorry, Dadong, Yesi said nervously. It was an accident. Be careful next time, said Dadong Sari. Dadong Sari tried to stand back up while lifting her basket. Oh, no. She fell over again as she tried to lift her basket over her head. Let me help you, Dadong, said Yesi. Yesi tried to lift the shopping basket. It was so heavy. The basket toppled over. Several grocery bags opened, their contents scattering. Potatoes and tomatoes rolled everywhere. Yesi quickly picked the vegetables back up. Dadong Sari was carrying quite a lot of groceries. After she gathered the groceries, Yesi tried to lift the basket again. The basket lifted slightly, but then, thump, down again it went. Wow, Daedong's really strong. She's strong enough to walk with this heavy basket on her head, Yesi thought. It's okay, leave it to me, said Daedong sorry. Yesi felt guilty. She saw that Dadong Sari didn't quickly get back up. She kept on massaging her foot. Yesi looked for Mom to ask her for help, but Mom was nowhere to be seen. Yesi noticed some smaller baskets at a stall. Yesi asked if she could use these to carry some of Dadong's things. Thank you, ma'am. Yesi exclaimed as she ran back to where Dadong Sari was sitting. Wait, where did Dadong Sari go? What about her basket? The shoppers who hired Dadong Sari must be waiting for their groceries. Dadong Sari. Yesi called as she looked around. She asked the nearby merchants, but they didn't have a clue. Then Yesi noticed an unused wagon in the parking lot. Maybe she could use the cart to carry Daedong's things. Oh, there Daedong Sari was. Apparently she had the same idea. She also wanted to use the wagon. Daedong Sari limped as she pulled the wagon. Yesi rushed to help Daedong. Hooray! Almost all groceries packed into the wagon. They put the few remaining vegetable bags into the small basket. Wow, this small basket was heavy too. Yesi's arms and neck grew sore. The lifter's baskets were much heavier. Finally, they made it to Dadong Sari's customers and managed to deliver all the groceries. Yesi, where have you been? Did you buy a cake? Mom asked as she came out of the market. Yesi chuckled to herself. Yesi hadn't bought a cake today. However, she had a valuable experience with Dadong Sari.